Yo, what's up, Internet? It's RJ with Road to Liberty. i um, going to give you guys a little bit of a rant today. Um, and it's weird because I've already kind of very publicly said that it doesn't matter about the election. Like, there's no sense in talking about the U.S. presidential election for so many reasons. First of all, it doesn't really matter who's president because even based on the actual constitutional powers given to the president, it's not even a, it's not a position that has a lot of, or really typically should have a lot of power, technically. That being said, putting that aside, with the prevalence of presidents using unilateral decision-making processes through, um, through executive orders, um, that, that, that argument can kind of be nullified a little bit and say, well, you, you know what, presidents do have a little bit more power than, than perhaps they ought to. Um, so putting that aside, let's look at the fact that everything stinks so bad with regards to this election. Um, it's hard for me to kind of go where I'm going without edging into conspiratorial waters, but my thing is this. You gotta, you gotta forget. I, I don't really want to worry about people what they're gonna say to me about being a conspiracy theorist and all that. Because for right now, I'm actually just trying to just say what I want to say. <laughs> so at the end of the day, Trump was put there to create a, a, a firewall or a hedge against any real opposition against Hillary, and being as I believe he's bought and paid for. Um, or threatened or whatever it was to basically have to run and do what he's doing and create the scene that he's creating. It works out in a lot of ways. For one, God forbid, uh, not God forbid, but, you know, if they, because they, the people that are behind this are not God-fearing people at all. Um, and that's why they kind of are having their way because, uh, I don't want to get into the whole religious thing, but that is part of it. Hillary... If anything were to happen to her for some reason, um, they would need another patsy of sorts to take the, the seat in the White House. Um, it'd be hard for the DNC to kind of scrap together somebody last minute who could go and beat Trump or beat whoever the Republicans picked. So if Trump had to be president, it wouldn't be the end of the world for the elites, for the power brokers of the world, because they would have him cornered and they would be able to manipulate him as well. A lot of people will tell me that's that's ridiculous. Trump is independent. He's this. He's that. When you watch a movie, it's easy to fall in love with the characters and believe that they are who they are. But when Matt Damon gets off the set, or Angelina Jolie gets off the set, or whomever goes home, they're not those characters. That's a, It's a role they're playing. So... I, I believe, and I want to put this out there to you guys, this is not a super edited, well thought out, scripted video. My point is just to say that Donald Trump, Hillary Clinton, the entire political establishment from the top, especially from the top, there's only so much reality to it. Democracy, checks and balances. Most of that is, is baloney. And I think a lot of my audience would agree with that. So anyway, this whole thing with Hillary Clinton and the email scandal... It's kind of nice in a way, I think, and this is something you don't hear a lot, but I think it's kind of nice that she isn't getting um, in trouble for these email uh, servers because it, it shows, it shows, the FBI director, Comey or whatever, it shows from his, what he had said, that this wouldn't apply to other people. This is something that you have to be Hillary Clinton, right? So Bill shows up at some airport tarmac and talks to, I don't have the name in front of me right now, I was just listening to the Scott Horton show, and he was explaining this very well, but I heard about this um, in the media a, a week ago or so, that Clinton, Bill, had met with someone else from the, uh, one of the, like the director of the FBI or whatever, this woman, on a, a private jet, like he, he popped in just to say hi or whatever, because <laughs> apparently they're just like, oh, they happen to be on the same runway, what are the chances? It's not like that. He popped in, and she says in the media, oh, we just spoke about, um, we just spoke about my grandkids and stuff like that. Um, 
This is what really happened. <laughs> Bill Clinton said to her, Hey, how are your kids? How are your grandkids? Good? Oh, everyone's happy and healthy? Good. That's good to hear. Hey, you hear what happened to um, that Supreme Court justice who just mysteriously died? Hey, you hear what happened to that other person that's supposed to testify against Clinton in, in this case? Like, he just died of a heart attack, um, but there was uh, an impact wound to his throat, but, but the police for some reason reported it as a, as a heart attack? Yeah, well, guess what? Uh, I'm glad your grandkids are doing well. You know what I mean? Because Hillary's coming up against this this trial soon, and you know we hate for anything to happen to to Hillary because you know family's important. You know I care about her and what she's doing, just like you care about your grandkids. So if you understand what I'm saying, I think we should make sure that nothing really happens to family in general, right? You know, one of those beat around the bush, but um, veiled threats of you better not stand in the way of what my people are going for because. I know where your people live, and I am a sick, sadistic fuck, <laughs> you know, speaking about Bill Clinton. The Clinton family has a trail of dead that they've left behind, and it's like, I feel like there's fucking microphones, and like the bugs are going to go, sp there's like a spy bug near me that's going to go fucking put me on their list. But you know what, at the end of the day, you got to stand up for what you stand up for and what you believe in, and I debate status all the time who say, oh, we need the government, we need... We need to give handouts and entitlements to old people and poor people. Yeah, so 5 million people a, a century or more can be killed at the hands of U.S. bombs. Plus, then you look at China, you look at Russia, you look at how people died under communism. That's what they want to bring to the United States. They want to bring, you know, socialism, in, which is just communism light. So, you know, don't, don't give me crap about not knowing this stuff because I study Marx and Engels and, and Balkan and all these socialists and they're all about the same thing they want to abolish the state meaning they just want this utopia like almost like like anarchists say but they they think that they can attain it by destroying private property by destroying religion and by destroying all national sovereignty so in a way it won't really matter because that's not attainable so they can do that and we'll probably just get a worldwide volunteer society either by mistake or by divine intervention. But I had to rant to you guys a little bit. I'm going to wrap it up. Basically, Hillary's going to be the next president unless something completely out of left field happens. Um, the FBI just basically coordinated her yesterday by saying, you know what, anyone else that did what she did would be, you know, removed and stripped of their of their security clearance which i think is something you need to be president i'm not sure i think you have to have a security clearance probably like the highest one in the land so but because she's hillary clinton there's really nothing we can do and um you know plus she's going to be your next president so how could i punish her in any way shape or form when she's about to be my boss so she knows it i think scott horton made a good suggestion they should just donate all of their campaign money and TV advertising money and you know all the gas and fuel for the tour buses and the and the jets and all that and just put donate it to a charity and and let Hillary become inaugurated into office tomorrow because it doesn't matter the election's a complete and total sham 